What I plan on saying to the team and something I always want to say to the team is just take that one moment. One moment, 10 seconds, and just look around. Just look around and feel what's happening right now. It's a one of a kind event. And if you're lucky, you'll do it one time. I think it's just one of those rivalries where you get you get a little more dialed in to play one of those games. You get a little more pumped up and uh, it's a lot of fun to play those games with teams that are close to home because you play for a little bit more than just your pride. You're playing for your school and for people you know that also went to Clearview and don't like Township as well. So it's bigger than yourself. Honestly, I think it's just because we're both very close schools. We're very close to each other and um, the rivalry and how how much emotion we all have for the game. I mean, it's, it's unbeatable. Past turnouts have been insane. Um, I think it was two years ago, because we didn't have one last year, we were turning people away at the door. Um, like the, the rink says they can hold near a thousand, but that year like the fire chief was there and he was like, oh my gosh, please stop letting people into this place. So the atmosphere is nuts. There's like five deep people on the boards. Um, and that's like all on top of our parents being there and like our fans that are there at every game anyway. I try to focus on, you know, what I'm gonna say to the team beforehand, what I'm gonna say to the team if things go well, what I'm gonna say to the team if things go bad, and what I'm gonna say to each individual player if something goes well or bad for them. One day you will wake up and you will realize that all of this sh was for something bigger than you. One day you will wake up and realize that this is the family that you didn't know was there. One day you will realize that this family might be even closer than your immediate family. One day. I am asking you to take this one day. It's yours. You can take it however you want, but it's up to you. There's a lot of emotions that is going to go out right now. Outside in there, there's 500 fans that are on our side that want you to play their way. I want you to play our way. I want you to play the way you've been playing for the last week. I want you guys to play like this is your one day. One day this will all be gone. One day you will be the alumni in this locker room wishing that you had one more time. One day you will not wear this jersey anymore. One day you will not be hockey players. But today is not that day, boys. Let's go. Let's go. Do you want three? One, two, three. Yeah. My mind, and I think I would say every coach's mind, is trying to think of every scenario so you're not surprised when that scenario comes. And of course, that scenario comes that you haven't been prepared for. energy's been throughout the school has been unbelievable um, I think hockey games are kind of a different animal as far as fans being able to go to them since it's not necessarily like this school sanctioned event um, they don't really have to mind their P's and Q's as much we can hear you. which is an advantage for us just getting fans that are a little more rowdy at the games um, this game they know is gonna have a lot more people there so they're more excited for it too
We gotta just focus on making sure our can kill that door if you can. We gotta focus on keeping our emotions in check. That first period got out of hand. We were in our head too much. All right, that's not our game. I don't know. The first thing I said to Brocious was, "Is that a different game if there's not a thousand fans there?" I don't know. I think All right, I think it is. I think you guys play better for some reason when there's not a lot of people there and it's just your parents here and stuff like that. That's okay. It's okay to play with emotion, but we just gotta figure out where we're gonna target that emotion. Um, be careful getting back. Don't do anything stupid tonight, boys. All right. So, yeah.